Okay, so let's inspect what these other parameters we need to set are. So we can say gcloud preview app run and instead of passing something we can pass in the the help keyword so that's double dash help so this will prompt some different things and, and as you see i've already typed in a, a search so smtp i'm searching for smtp because smtp stands for simple mail transfer protocol and these are all the things we 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 need to use in order to or we need to set in order to to send out email using app engine on our local computer okay but the thing is for some reason i believe there's a bug and if we run the gcloud preview app run command the sending out of the email doesn't work so even though we pass all of these parameters into our our preview app run the email will not get sent for some reason it gets stuck so instead uh, playing around with with the different uh, options i had in the sdk i found a way of how we can have a workaround and still be able to send out email okay so i'm going to show you this right now okay so i'm going to quit out of this prompt and i'm going to cd back to my home directory so i'm going to hit cd and tilde sign so i'm back in my home directory and now i need to manually execute the following file so inside of the google cloud sdk inside of platform inside of google app engine i need to execute the DevOps server, which is somewhere here. Okay, this is the DevOps server file, and I need to pass this file the, the arguments that we just saw. So let's see how this looks. Let's say Python Google Cloud SDK platform Google App Engine DevOps server, and let's say help again. Now you'll notice the parameters here are slightly different because Previously, they, they, they never had underscores in them. The, the parameters there just had single dashes. And here they have underscores. So let's search for all of the ones with SMTP. So it's these here. So we need to remember, we need to set all of these, okay? Except for SMTP allow TSL, TLS, sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and try run this. So I'm going to quit out of this help. Just clear the screen so it's a bit cleaner. So now we need to run the, the DevOps server and, and pass it our application, okay? So let's go ahead and reuse the, the previous command, but instead here we need to pass in our the directory for our application. So let's go ahead and say it's in projects, app engine, yum search two, and I'll just quit out of the find so you can see what I'm doing, and then default, okay? So if we hit enter, we see our application is running okay and now if, if we were go to if we were to go to our browser we'd see the application is running okay so let's quit out again reuse the same command but pass in all of those flags so let's say smtp underscore host is equal to smtp.gmail.com and then again double dash smtp underscore port is equal to 587 and then double dash smtp underscore user is going to be your email okay so in my case this is michael.gradic at gmail.com and then we need to pass in the password so this will be smtp underscore password is equal to now this is where another thing comes in if you type in your gmail password here the application won't send you send emails because it's a Google security policy that you you cannot use your own password here. So instead, you need to go to the following website. You need to go here. You need to go to security.google.com forward slash settings forward slash security forward slash app passwords. Okay. And here you need to create a new password. So this will be a random password which you use for certain applications. And in this case, we're going to be using to access our Gmail to send emails out of it. So to create a new password, we, we select what type of app. And in this case, it's going to be other custom name. And we're going to say app engine email testing. And I've already created it. So I'll say to generate. And I need to log in because probably the session has expired so i'll do this again app engine email testing to generate 
and it's gone ahead and created a new password, a random password. So we just go ahead and copy this as is. And by the way, by, by the time the video is up, I'll, I will have revoked this password. So, you know, don't try and use this. This is my password and, you know, I'll, I'll revoke it anyway, so it'll be useless. Okay, done. Let's go back to our console and we, t we need to paste it in here, okay? So now if you run, Okay, the, 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 the web server apparently is running. So let's go to our, our application. See if we have something in our data store and delete this user because it wouldn't allow us to, to create the same user. And let's try and create a new user. So I'm going to say my email because I want the email to actually to receive the email if it works. Test and test. Okay, register. Let's see our console. We see it's trying to send the email and apparently it sent our email. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our inbox and see if it's there. And here we can see this is my inbox and we see that my email has reached me. So success. Great. This is so, so exciting. We, we are able to send emails off of our uh, local machine. Let's see here. It looks nice. The email looks nice. And here we see if you, if you see the domain at the bottom, I'll just copy the link address and, and paste it into my browser, we see that we're in fact pointing us to our local uh, dev app server. So this is fantastic. And if I go ahead and click it, well, we still haven't implemented this, this uh, request handler, so that's why it doesn't work. But you see that we know we in fact are able to send out HTML emails to our own email account. And you know, this is great. We can do a lot of useful things with this in real life applications. So great.